I'm Randy Vance. Today I have the pleasure of testing the Boston Whaler 285 Conquest. This is a brand new express cruiser, brand new from the keel up. It's packed full of innovative features that give the hardcore fisherman exactly what he needs to whet his appetite, yet it doesn't rule out the comfort and pleasure of family riders who come along for the day. I'm going to walk you through it beginning with the results of our performance testing right now. The seaworthy feel of the 285 is evident as we ran our speed tests. Whaler attributes the solid ride to their Unibond construction method. Whaler's 285 Conquest can be equipped with twin Mercury 225 or 250 horsepower Verados. Our test boats sported 250s. Our props were 14 and a half by 17 inch inertias. Our test load was 400 pounds of passengers and gear and 106 gallons of fuel. Our top speed was 48.9 miles per hour at 6300 RPM. At our most efficient cruising speed, we made one and a half miles per gallon at 4500 RPM when we were doing 34.4 miles per hour. Now the cockpit is protected by a hard top. Integrated into that is the tempered glass windshield system that you see here. Now this is an open configuration with optional side curtains that can zip off. You can get a closed version that has hard glass to the hard top, or you can get a pilot house version that's closed aft as well. It gives you a nice toasty cockpit in cooler climates. There's even an electrically operated vent that brings fresh air into the helm area as you're making way. Now, I like to drive standing up, which is why the flip-up bolster is nice. But if you like to drive sitting down, put the bolster down, you've got an ideally positioned footrest there. The armrests flip up, the whole seat swivels, and it slides fore and aft. You can swivel it all the way back and join the party in the cockpit. Underneath the helm station, you have this panel that has all your battery switches, circuit breakers, and your live well switches. Now the port side lounge has a cool patent pending feature that I like. This easily slides fore and aft. You've got a full length lounge this way, or you can bring it forward. When you have that, you've also got an aft facing lounge with the shelf that comes out of the mezzanine for a footrest. Now slide this aft, remove the center cushion, and you have two seats that face each other. You can even get an optional cocktail table to go between them. Now a quick glance around this cockpit will tell you that Whaler has not forgotten the comfort and pleasure features that your family is going to want on board. But for the hardcore fishing, you can see how quickly this converts into a fighting cockpit. You've got rod holders in the gunwales, you've got rod holders in the hard top, you've got rod storage underneath the gunwale, and if you want to opt away from this pull-out chair over here, you can get two more rod holders. Three are stowed below. In the sole are two fish boxes. They're insulated, one on the port, one on the starboard. Both of them drain by gravity and have pump outs as well. The live well is a 29 gallon round live well. It's lighted. Underneath you have a flow control. And down below where the pickup is, there's a sea strainer. In fact, all the mechanics of this boat are easily accessed in this compartment. And there's plenty of room for an optional gen set. Here at the mezzanine, you've even got a tackle storage center with three large drawers, and that's going to keep you well organized. In the salon below, you've got an innovative V-berth. Flip down the table and drop it. It fills in, and the cushions slide down. The combing's coming in to give you a full-size double bed. The entertainment package on our boat includes a flat panel TV and a DVD player. On the port side, the galley is molded into the cabin fiberglass pan. That makes it durable and easy to care for. You've got wood doorways in it, a stainless steel refrigerator, and a stainless steel microwave above. One innovative trick that we like is the stowaway cutting board that locks into the sink. Also molded into the main salon is the head compartment. It's on the starboard side, and the molding process gives it long-term durability and easy maintenance. It's equipped with a porcelain head and a stainless steel sink with a pull-out shower. As you can see from our brief walk through, the brand new 285 Conquest is well engineered to be a hardcore fishing boat. But through innovative features, they've built this boat to give you the ideal recreational comfort features without compromising the desires of the angler. The 285 Conquest is right on the money.